Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beacon House Old Student Society Boss Memory Lane. Beacon House Boss is all about building a community together. I'm extremely humbled and delighted to introduce our today's alumnus with us, Ms. Sidra Javad. She's a brilliant, dynamic, and extremely intelligent alumna of Beacon House School System. She was with Beacon House through and through. She started her journey from Lausanne's Montessori Academy, 68 C1. And then she completed her senior Cambridge from Beacon House Liberty Campus and higher senior Cambridge known as A-Levels, class of 2000 from Beacon House Liberty Campus. She rejoined the system and built her way as a teacher to a general duty trainer, a Cambridge program leader and is now the headmistress at Beacon House to the Sultan Campus Travel Building. Ms. Sidra, welcome to Boss Memory Lane. Thank you so much, Fatma. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Sidra, let's take a trip down memory lane. Um, the most interesting incident or fondest memory at uh, Beacon House. Well, I would want to share two of my very precious memories with you, Fatma. Uh, I was in Beacon House Garden Town Campus and I was there till grade five and uh, it was co-ed ba uh, back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had this principal, uh, Mr. Peter Smith, and uh, he was just amazing. He had this amazing, charming, and very magnetic personality. And uh, he had this very different demeanor. He would never sit in his office. He was always on the go. And uh, he was, uh, you would find him in the cafe, you would find him in and out of the classrooms, you would find him in the playground. And uh, students used to flock around him. And uh, every now and then he would scoop up a child and ask them how they have been and uh, um, how was their day. And uh, you, I have, I've had many of these, you know, um, encounters with him. So this, I believe, was uh, the best mm -hmm. memory that I have from Be Beacon House Garden Town Campus, yes. And the other very fond memory is from uh, Lesange Montessori Academy 68C. 68C1. <laughs> 68C, yes. And uh, we had this fancy dress show and uh, I had to dress up as a Macau. Oh. And I still remember my mother stitching that costume for me it and it, it had those multicolored uh, feathers attached to it and uh, to be honest <laughs> that day I I thought that I'm not human and I'm actually a real Macau you know floating around in the school flapping my wings oh, wow. so yeah these two memories I you know hold them very close to myself Chidra, if you have to describe your school life in three words what would that be and why okay so uh, the three words that I would associate with my experience at Vegan House would be challenging unforgettable and transformative for sure so challenging is because uh, Beacon House has always aimed for excellence. It has always aimed for academic rigor. And uh, uh, it has always uh, set very high expectations from its students. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, it was uh, it was challenging academically. Wow. Mm -hmm. Unforgettable uh, because I, I believe I've uh, made very strong memories of my experiences with my friends and my teachers. And I still remember my fun-filled breaks, uh, the fun-filled school trips, end of year parties. So yes, it is unforgettable and transformative. Uh, I would say, from being a you know a very uh, ordinary, average middle school student, I uh, progressed to become a high achiever in A levels. Wow. So I believe it was truly transformative. And when Beacon House says that it. Uh, you know, it inculcates these lifelong learning skills. It definitely does. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Did you make friends for life at Beacon House? Yes, Padma. I... Would you like to <laughs> name Fuji? Yes, I would because I think this is the best opportunity to give a shout out to my friends. I believe I've made uh, 
my best friends are from the time that I had spent at Liberty Campus. Wow. And uh, my friend Sana Hussain, my friend Sadia Malik, my friend uh, Nida Zahoor, Kiran, Shabano, Shaheen. And yeah, these are some of my friends who are very precious to me. Wow. And we are still together. Oh, yeah. wow. This is to all those who are watching. Please download the Boss app and get connected because Beacon House Boss is all about building a community together. Connect with your friends. Thank you. Okay, which group you were in? Um, studious, nerds, or what group was your school? I the? was never uh, in the studious group. Mm -hmm. I was just another average student who would just seek out for fun activities, who would bunk classes as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, when I started my A-levels, I don't know what happened. Something transformed within me and I became a very studious student. Mm -hmm. And I did aim for, uh, you know, A's. Wow. I was aiming you for... You were with Beacon House through and through. Do you teachers the names of teachers? Yes, they are. Please. Started from 68 C1 Lausanne Montessori till your A-levels. My uh, HM was Shazadi Mirza. Wow. Uh, amazing. Amazing so school head. What a great Bilkul. human and being. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, you would not believe that when I joined Beacon House as an employee, I was working with my teachers. Wow. Ms. Tabasu Murtaza, you know her. Yes. She has course. taught me English in grade 3. Wow. And uh, you also know Ms. Humaira Malik. Ji, ji. Of course. She Liberty has campus. taught me <laughs> maths in grade 8. <laughs> so, and one more person I would really want to mention over here. Yes. Is uh, uh, he's he's one of he's from the support staff, Jabbar Bhai. He was at Garden Town campus, and he was he's the person who uh, rang the first bell at LMA six E. Wow! And you would not believe when I joined that system, uh, that branch as an employee as a teacher, he came to me and he recognized me, and wow. it was it was amazing. It was That's just awesome. amazing. Yeah, he's yeah. I think he's still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You've had siblings also at Beacon House. What was that experience like? Comparison was So A let's hear that journey. Of comparison. <laughs> uh, I have three siblings and mm. uh, two brothers and a sister. They mm. all have been Beaconites throughout. Mm. And yes, there was always a race against, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, for scoring higher and mm. higher. Uh, but um, I just comparison uh, karte the, yes, you know, a lot of comparison. Ko yes, rahe, yes, ko rahe. yes. <laughs> I would really want to narrate one Please. incident. Dizzy. When I went in uh, to this Garden Town campus for the interview, Miss Farida Shahid was there. She was the academic manager there. Wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, I walked. She was not my teacher, by the way. Mm -hmm. She was uh, teaching my. She taught my brother. Mm -hmm. So when I went in there, she just said, "Oh, Movina had sister." And it was like, oh my God, she remembers, she remembers him so well that she could tell that I am his sister. Wow. So what a phenomenal journey. Your parents, then you yourself from Beacon House, siblings, and uh, now your own kids are also in Beacon House. Yes, all three of them are so in Beacon House. So how is this, you know, circle of life and this experience all about? Do you want to shed some light on this? Padma, this is quite amusing because uh, we talk, I, I think I talk about Beacon House 24-7 and throughout the year, throughout, I mean, weeks, I mean, right. Beacon House is as if it's in my blood. <laughs> and yes, right. you're right. It is uh, yeah. my siblings, my, my mother, mm -hmm. uh, she's been a Beacon House teacher, Beacon House trained teacher. And uh, now my children, rather my eldest is now part of the boss community and so, I'm very proud of that. Oh wow, uh -huh. oh wow. So we have uh, the whole family, you know. Yes. That's what we say, building a community together. Yes. Yes. So, do section your section? It's very good. Absolutely, I remember one thing. Please, I remember. Uh, Garden you. Town campus, BGTL, I was always in section white. Because right. at Garden Town, we, we had, had colors. colors. Gigi. But when I moved to uh, Liberty campus, uh, I was always in section A. It was 6A, 7A, up until 11CA. So wow. I still remember and interestingly, my son is attending 11CA now. Oh, wow. And I told him that, you know, I was in the That's same it. section. Right, right. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. 
लिबर्टी कैंपस में जी इलेक्शन होते थे आपको इलेक्शंस की मेमोरी याद है कुछ कुछ बात करना चाहेंगे बहुत अच्छी तरह याद है वी यूज टू कंटेस्ट वी यूज टू यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ कैंपेन यूज टू हैपन फॉर दो डिफरेंट कैंडिडेट्स हु आर यू नो नॉमिनेटेड फॉर द हेड गर्ल पोजिशन एंड द डिफरेंट अदर पोजिशन एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वन वन ऑफ फॉर वन ऑफ दोज इलेक्शन सबा गोल Gigi, when she became the head girl, mm-hmm. I was so happy because I voted for her. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, message from Hamza. Hamza, 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 Discovery was was orange colored. Gee, gee. Endeavor was purple. Gee, gee. And adventure was green. Green. And so, उसका क्या स्लोगन था एडवेंचर का स्लोगन आई डू यू रिमेम्बर आप याद करें बाद में सुन नहीं बट आई डू रिमेम्बर दोज इंटर हाउस कॉम्पिटिशन दैट वी यूज टू हैव एंड इट वॉज अ वेरी हेल्थी यू नो आई थिंक Mm-hmm. Uh, in school activity were you part of extra curricular activities at deacon house also liberty campus because extra curricular may i would want to mention mm-hmm. um, liberty campus was at that time a relatively newer campus mm-hmm. and they had this state of the art aerobics room oh yes and it mm-hmm. was fully equipped it had those mirrors around uh, all the walls it mm-hmm. had those rods to hold on to yoga mats stepper and those um, that complete music system so uh, wh- those aerobics lessons you know they helped me discover that i have this love for rhythm music wow. and mindfulness wow so and uh, my sister and i used to you know practice this at home as well mm-hmm. so this is one extra curricular which i still hold on to right and uh, yeah this is sometimes in our life we get to hear a few words which stay with us mm-hmm. and we actually follow them what were those words and were said to you by whom and stayed with you and you actually followed them uh my mother in law she often tells me to live in present wow and she she often narrates her experiences of the past and uh, she tells me this that this life is very short time is running out so try living in present don't live in past or you know uh, think about future live in present live in the moment at the moment i'm trying very hard to follow these instructions i've not been able to achieve that right. but i'm trying hard you know yeah. the path you yeah know. i know the path i know <laughs> right. this is the right thing and yeah. what she's saying is right wow but let's see oh, when <laughs> right. this would eventually happen i right. um, how would you like to carry out the legacy of beacon house old student society boss and how would you like to contribute to boss society okay fatma i i believe i'm i am already uh, you know um, uh, carrying forward this legacy true in its true spirit and i am mm-hmm. uh, part of a uh, boss community for a very long time mm-hmm. and i am also part of other unofficial networks um mm-hmm. i'll just mention one there's this class of 98 right uh, we are on whatsapp <laughs> and every right. student of class of 98 wow. is there mm-hmm. and we do connect and help each other through that group that's great and uh, in terms of contribution i would say that i i believe i'm making a contribution towards that you know ecosystem of knowledge sharing and knowledge bringing sharing. together experts and you know a, a very simple example would be you know helping these young graduates connect with the people in industry wow so right. helping them so that's what it is yeah. building a community, community together. together so you're yeah. actually in it yeah to say what pearls of wisdom would you like to share with the young minds of beacon house okay uh, this is again a very um, phenomena which i came across some time back mm-hmm. it's a japanese philosophy mm-hmm. to a joy joyous and um, you know meaningful life it's called mm-hmm. ikigai ikigai you mm-hmm. must find your ikigai and the philosophy is that that you one must pursue a career and a you know a profession in mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. that one loves that uh, one wants to uh, is able to do is good at doing Wow. and uh, what the world needs and what you could be paid for wow so <laughs> okay you have to find that balance mm-hmm. and look for 
you should aim for that in life mm -hmm. so this is my message uh, i think to uh, the all the young friend. ones that try seeking that sweet spot try seeking your ikigai wow. yeah on this positive note that may we all find an ikigai ladies and gentlemen thank you so much thank you mr sidra most welcome beacon house old students society boss building a community together